Hey guys, Luis here. In this video, I am going to show you how to do a paper mache mask. We have included the following items and materials in this DIY kit. A paper mask, strips of newspaper, washable paint, which includes black, white, and the three primary colors, two small brushes, and between four and five ounces of washable liquid glue. A paper mache mask is a fun way to create an inexpensive, personalized, and unique mask. You can do a Halloween mask, an Aztec mask, a cartoonish mask, or any other type of mask. It's a good way to have fun and get some experience sculpting. Okay. Let's get right to it. The first thing you want to do is set up your working station. I am going to put my mask on top of some newspapers to protect the surface of the table as much as possible, as this will be a sloppy but fun project. I don't want my newspaper to be moving all over the place as I'll be recording this video. Therefore, I am going to use masking tape to secure the newspaper. I have a cup of water here. Water is not included in the DIY kit. Try to get some water from somewhere around your house. We need to dip and water the strips of newspaper one at a time and fully cover the paper mask in two or three or maybe four layers of it. This step is very important. If you skip this step, you will not be able to remove your mask once you have added the paper mache. Therefore, you will not be able to create a second or third mask if you want it to. Once you have covered your mask in two or three or four layers of strips of newspaper dipped in water, we have to prepare our glue, our paper mache. We have included a cup with about five or six ounces of washable liquid glue. We need to add about the same amount of water to it and use your hand to properly mix it. It's up to you if you want to use gloves. I simply wash my hands afterwards. Once you have mixed your glue and water together, we need to dip the strips of newspapers one at a time and fully cover the mask in five or six or seven layers of paper mache. The more layers you have, the sturdier your mask will be. Once you complete this process, let your mask dry. I let my mask dry under the hot sun for about three hours. It will take different amounts of time for everyone. Once your paper mache mask has completely dried out, remove the paper mask from it. You need to do this step carefully or you'll rip both of your masks. If you didn't add three layers of water and strips of newspaper, this step will be somewhat challenging. Perfecto. Now I have my paper mache mask and my other mask, which I can use to create even more paper mache masks. Now, you need to color the mask. 
we have included white, black, and the three primary colors of tempera paint. It would be better to use acrylic paints for this project. However, since many children are going to be working on this DIY kit, we thought it would be a good idea to use washable paint. Grab one of the small brushes included in the kit and start painting your mask white. If you have a bigger brush at home, that would be better and you can finish much faster. We need to apply about three coats of white paint before we move on to the next step. Now, let your mask dry for a few hours. It would be practical and helpful if you have a design in mind of what you want your mask to look like. You can download a template in the description. Okay, for my mask design, um, I tried to do something like the Phantom, which is a Mexican luchador, um, and this is a, a Phantom luchador mask. You can paint it however you want to. This is your design. This is your project. Have fun with it. If you don't want to do the, the paper mache and you just want to paint the mask, that's also great. As long as you have fun and make it your own mask. And whatever you do, just remember to apply a few coats of tempera paint. One coat is usually not enough. This is how my mask looks like. I like it. It looks nice. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. And don't forget to share your projects with us through our social media pages. And this is my mask. You know, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and share your, your designs with us through our social media. Thank you.